Oh, how good is this? One of the characters of world tennis, Naomi Osaka, and she's here with us at Margaret Court Arena. Hello, Naomi. Hello. Did you enjoy watching those little snippets of your press conference? It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to enjoy them, though. Oh. Press conferences, that is. Um, I mean, yeah, because people ask me questions and I don't really have to start the conversation, but um, I don't know. That's exactly what we're going to do here tonight as well. <laughs> Ask you lots of questions. I've been really looking forward to this. Firstly, though, uh, we spoke to Novak about it earlier last night, next door at Rod Laver Arena, to be a part of the Rally for Relief and, and raise so much money for people in need that have been affected by these horrific bushfires here in, in Australia. Did you enjoy being out there in, 15, in front of 15,000 people for, for such a great cause? Um, I did not know there were that many people out there. There's but... a few there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was definitely fun. Um, I'm sad that we had to get together like like for that event, but um, definitely I'm glad that it was for a good cause. You, you took a snap and posted it on Instagram today. Uh, I love this because you and Serena, and you, I know you credit Serena with a lot of the inspiration behind your game and, and making you the player and the person uh, that you are today. Uh, it's a great photo there with mum, as you said in the, uh, in, the, in the snap as well. <laughs> a good moment with you and Serena out there on court last night and all those superstar tennis players. Yeah. Um... I don't know, but for me, Serena was the most important. <laughs> um, but definitely, it was really cool. Um, and everyone that was there was super nice and friendly. I didn't really talk that much, so it was great that all the other people with super fun personalities were like doing all the work. Let's talk a little bit about um, the win last year and reflect upon that, that moment and how good that year was and how you're going to use, potentially use that coming in to um, win and defend. In 2020. How was that? I'm sorry. I was looking at myself on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Um, well, let's just say, how yeah, good is it saw. to be back as the champion as we get ready to start in 2020? Um, I mean, for me, it feels really great. Um, I feel like I had practice trying to be a defending champion in the US Open. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So I think I'm more prepared this time, and um, hopefully it goes well. Have you watched, have you seen those pictures, Will? Have you watched last year's final back? Uh, I watched the highlights. That's okay. <laughs> They're the good lights. Um, yep. I mean, there was like this long video of me crying, which, come on, it's not nothing new. Um, and then the third set, I thought the match was pretty like interesting. Yeah, it was good. Absolutely. You know, something else that I thought has been great about you is um, at the US Open this year where you almost took that leadership role, if you remember your match with Coco Goff, and you were really supportive of her because you've been in those positions. Can you talk to, me a little, talk to us a little bit about that? Um, yeah, I mean, for me, I feel like, I don't know, she's very special, um, and like all the things that happened to her at such a young age, like literally the crowds were coming just to watch her. So for me, I just thought um, she needed to address the people that came to watch her, or if she wanted to even in the first place, but yeah. But um, you, those experiences that she was going through, you've obviously felt a lot of those yourself. Not quite like that, really, no. Yeah. Um, I think hers is at a much larger scale. So um, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like protective a little bit about her. Do you it's like, good. Naomi, what comes with being a Grand Slam champion as well? I know you were up, up in Brisbane. They put you in a helicopter and sent you up in the sky. All the, I guess, the, the frills uh, that come with being uh, the superstar that you are. Here's some of the, the shots of you jumping in and, and heading up. I mean, yeah, definitely. I think it's amazing. I think um, a year ago or even two, I definitely wouldn't have even dreamed to be in this position. So um, it's a bit crazy, I think, the way my life has gone, but I'm definitely very grateful to be here. Have you, it opens up so many opportunities off the court. Are you starting to enjoy it? And what's maybe the most fun thing that you've done over the last couple of years? Most fun thing I've done over the, um, Apart from winning Grand Slams. I can't really tell you the most fun thing I've done. But are you, starting, are you starting to enjoy it? And I wonder, maybe have you had a chance to talk to Serena, who manages on-court, off-court commitments so well? Have you had a chance to get some advice from Serena? Um, okay, so I'm going to have to give you a briefing of how I am as a person. I don't talk to people. I just stare at them from a distance. Okay. <laughs> That's lesson number one. Lesson number two, 
is that if I were to talk to Serena, she talks to me, and I get surprised that she talks to me, and then I don't talk back. Okay, so, that's so you haven't how, asked her anything? <laughs> no, I just say, hi, how are you? <laughs> and then she's just, I don't, I don't, I like blank out when she talks to me, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Do you I, think one day you'll be able to talk to her? I'm trying really hard to get up, <laughs> like, to get the courage. Because for me, it's very odd. Like, she's the one that I, like, admired to start playing. And then the whole US Open thing, whatever. Um, and she's still so nice to me. Um, and I, I just, it's weird, like tennis players, we have to play each other, we're super competitive, but then off the court, it's like, you know, we see each other every week, so. That, that photo that we showed earlier, on, that you posted on social media, so what's going through your mind when you're sitting next to Serena Williams? What are you, what's Naomi Osaka thinking about Serena Williams and about yourself sitting next to Serena? <laughs> I'm thinking like, bro, oh my God, like. Yo, because Nadal was right next to me too, right? Yep. Are you just as starstruck about Rafa? Yeah, are you kidding me? And like, Roger? Yeah. Carolyn? All of them. Well, like, it's the best players in the world. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you're James, one of the best players in the world. You're, you're one of the best players in the world. Like, it's amazing that you, you sort of still see them, that, almost oh. like you're not on the same level of them as them. But there you are with them out on Rod Laver Arena yesterday. No. And to all of us, you, you look like you, you, you fit in perfectly because you are that, that star No, player. I just got here, you know? Like, this is my second year kind of being on the higher level, but they've been there like since I was little, low key, so. Um, one, one, one last one before we <laughs> let you go. The draw, Are you, we're, gonna, we're about to see it. Mm -hmm. Do you like knowing anything about it? And what, what's your, let's say, um, habits with the draw? Um, I don't look at the draw, I only see who I'm, well, I don't even really like seeing who I'm first playing until like the day before. Um, so, if you announce the draw now, I'm probably going to run off the stage. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, we're about to, Naomi. Hey, look, congratulations on last year's Australian Open title. All the best as you chase your second here at Melbourne Park. Thank you. Okay, you on. We're a little starstruck. Yeah, you? thanks for being with us. You're hilarious. <laughs> yeah, we really are, I promise. <laughs> Naomi Osaka, ladies and gentlemen, here at Margaret Court Arena. And she is right. It is time to get nervous because the women's draw will be revealed in just a moment. All the big stars, including Naomi, right here in Melbourne with one mission in mind.